Hello everybody! Hi, my name is Teacher Twigs. Hello! Good. How are y'all doing today? Good? Good. Alright, so today we're going to be focusing on reading and writing. And we're going to read a specific type. But I'm going to sh tell, show you a story. We're going to read a whole story together first. And I'm going to put it on. So. Upon awakening, the dinosaur was still there. That's it. That's the story. So this is uh, a story called The Dinosaur by Augusto Monteroso. So this is an example of a specific genre. It's a genre? Type of literature called flash fiction, microfiction. Okay? So, um, and this is what we're going to talk about. So very, very small, so we can read quite a lot of different things, too. So, this is what it has all the elements of story. What does a story need? People, characters, setting, the plot, good, things like this. So, this one is a special story, but this is an example of the different type. Okay, so now you've written down the different elements of story, things that a story needs. Good, so it's beginning, middle, and end. All right, so flash fiction. Flash fiction is a type of fiction that is usually um, uh, shorter, it's a, usually less than a thousand words or, you know, between like a hundred to a thousand words, but it can be very short. It can be as short as six words, um, but it's usually about that. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. But what I'm going to ask you to do is take out your phones. Everybody take out their phones. So that's why normally we're not supposed to use phones in the class, but today we're going to use it because we're going to need it for what we're gonna do, okay? So, I don't, has anybody ever heard of Twitter? Okay. Yeah, you've heard of Twitter? Good. So, flash fiction and Twitter go very well together. That's part of it, that's why. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look up, just Google, um, Twitterature, okay? So, Twitterature is flash fiction on Twitter. Because there's a limit on the number of characters in Twitter, so people have been very creative in making up stories. So what you're going to do is you're going to look it up and then send me the link so I can put it on that so we can project it so everybody can read the different short stories. Okay, so we're going to do that for a little bit. Good, so we've done some extensive reading, reading lots of different stories by different people. Good, so copy and paste, and, and then now we're gonna start, we're gonna do an activity. So, what's going on in this picture? That's the activity, good. So, what do you see? What do you see in the picture? Good, good. Now try to think, what happened before the picture? What's going to happen after? Who knows? I don't know. Good. So this is part of it. So we're going to think about what could happen. Because we're going to write some flash fiction. So some techniques and strategies. Good. So there's two main ones. K-I-S-S. -S, kiss. So keep it short and simple. Keep it short, simple. Cut to the chase. Let's get right into what's going on. One way of thinking about this is a story, beginning, middle, and end. And here, beginning, where's the beginning, where's the middle, and where's the end? Just start where it's interesting. Good. So these are some strategies, because they said now, um, we're gonna do whisper down the lane, or we're gonna change it to at me on the feed. Okay, so now we have our Twitter accounts open and we have the hashtag for the class, good. And I'm going to put a prompt and then you, and then I'm going to at 
one of the students, one of you guys, to continue on telling what's happening in the story. We're trying to make stories. Great, you guys are so creative. You guys are so, it's, that's funny, good. Very good, all right. So now for um, what we're gonna be doing later, so we've read some different examples of flash fiction, we've read a whole story, we've had multiple different stories in one class, and we've thought about some uh, techniques and strategies for writing, and we've practiced getting used to using Twitter too. So using the hashtag, tagging people, making sure that uh, we can upload things. Now for the assessment, you're going to write a, your own Twitterature. So your own short story and then upload it to the, um, the uh, um, <laughs> to Twitter with the hashtag of the class and every and all that all that stuff too. So it could be just one post, uh, it could be a couple different posts, but we're gonna try to keep it short and sweet. So good, all right. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much, and goodbye.